Hi everyone, it's Ryan with SacramentoAppraisalBlog.com and today I wanted to show you a few quick graphs from three different neighborhoods in Sacramento and make one overarching point about what the market is doing. So um, so come with me for the ride and uh, let's glean some insight. So here are all fourplex sales in Midtown Sacramento. And you can see from 1998 through 2005 there were massive increases, the bubble uh, happened, values tanked, and since have recovered. But the interesting part about Midtown is that you see that current fourplex sales are really trending about where they were in 2005. And so it's safe to say that we're seeing peak prices in Midtown in terms of where the previous bubble was anyway. OK, so it's easy to look at a market like Midtown and then say, wow. The market is hot everywhere, or rents have been increasing dramatically in Midtown, so that must be happening everywhere also. So, but let's look at fourplex sales near Caro Drive in Sacramento. What do you notice? So current values are really hovering about 400,000 about now. This graph's a few months old, but they're off significantly from the peak around 625,000. And so Midtown might be trending at 2005 levels because of the vibe happening there, the restaurants and breweries, the arena, the gentrification. But we're not seeing a dynamic anywhere close to that near Carl Drive in Sacramento. And so we'd probably think that rent increases maybe haven't been as aggressive here as in some portions of Midtown, too. Good to consider. Let's look at one other neighborhood. Here are all duplex sales in the Greenhaven Pocket area of Sacramento. You can see increases in value from 2003 through 2005, bubble tanks, and then values begin to recover. Okay, now there's a couple outliers up here. These are duplex sales on a man-made lake in um, and so let's let's throw those out for now. But otherwise, generally you can see that values are down a good 10% of where they were at the peak of the market in 2005. And so it's interesting because in Midtown, we see the market is on fire. That's what uh, many would say. And um, there's so much demand there, but we're just seeing a different market depending on the neighborhood. And so it's a good reminder for us in real estate that the market's not doing the same thing at every price range or in every neighborhood or even with every property type. Okay, we might see different dynamics uh, for uh, duplexes, land, commercial property, um, in various price ranges, the market could be different, far different under 300,000, and then compared to say 1.5 million and above. Okay, so whenever people ask how is the market doing, I think one of the best questions to ask in response is, well, which market? What do you mean exactly? That way we can have more specific conversation. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or insight, let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and click like uh, or comment below. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time.